we have seen the side uh, the deputy president is taking, to be honest. And those are the ones, because if we mentioned them and even whatever activities are being done, we know they are the ones who are politicizing this. Like now on Sunday, we all watched Kerembe and we saw the questions which we are being raised. So that is the team which seems to be fighting whatever the head of state is doing. And through the people that he have appointed, they are the ones who seems to be having this problem of fight. Because if we go back, we, we, we all understand what was happening in Kepsa. Almost everybody, including the vice president and his team, they were talking of the corruption that is in Kepsa, even before Mutahi Kagwe was appointed as the CS Health. So it is just a continuation with whatever they were talking about, even before the CS Mutahi Kagwe so, came on board. Amana so Amelewa. Vile tumejua ama tunajua muheshimiwa Kagwe na tume mention about previous records zake na zile kazi amekuwa akifanya hajahusichwa kamwe kwa hiyo mambo ya corruption kwa hivyo hata tukisema hivyo ni vile mwenye kumwa point the head of state huri alimpatia hiyo kasi ya CS kuna kitu alikuwa ameona ndani yake Lakini kwa sababu ya sile, siyasa, siko. Ata sisi wana Kenya, live alone about regions. Tumeona, mambo ya COVID, zote tunajua vile imeua watu nchi nzima. Lakini yapa, tangu wa shukue usukani na the hope tumesema tukonae, ni vile tumekua tukipatiwa update kila wakati. Kwa hivyo, wakati ya likuwa napatia na hizo update, Tunajua chida zilianza kutokea huku. Hata maswari, hata vile watu wanaongea. Until he kept off na akawacha wengine. Lakini watu pia wakaona wenye siyasa. Kuna kitu inaendelea ambaye. Labda inajenga jina yake. Ama inajenga iyo ministry ya health. Kwa hivyo tukisema tunajua. Ni kama wazazi. Tumejua previous record zake. Na pia tumeona vile amekuwa akifanya kazi. Kwa hivyo. Ni vire, na conscience yake pia vire ana, anajifanya Ni vire conscience yake inamuambia Hakuna kitu amefanya Hata upelelezi ukifanywa So vile tunasema Isi siku ishirini na moja Tugoje kwa sababu hata kiongozi wa nchi yetu Uhuru Muigai Kenyata Amesema within 21 days Ameweka hata kamati Ile itakuwe inachunguza iyo maneno Kwa hivyo ni vizuri pia tugoje. Kwa hivyo hatusemi hakuna kitu wamefanya. Lakini tugoje. But from his previous records. Kazi zake hajaguzishwa pahali. Hajahusishwa pahali. Na hiyo mambo ya corruption. Uh, we know that uh, in the politics of this country. Which we are condemning as maendereo ya wanawake. Because we are waiting for politics 2022. We seem to have two, two lines or two groups who are doing politics. There is that they are calling Kieleweke, there is also the Tanga Tanga. During, Kagwe, uh, during Kyojori's time, the team that he was aligning himself with didn't do politics. But now since it is Mutahi Kagwe, we are seeing that group is the one that is fighting Mutahi Kagwe. Our CS, Mutahi Kagwe, has a clean past record and he is our true hero. What he has done for this country, like when he worked for the communication department and now COVID-19 speaks fully for itself because COVID has gone down and we are all priests in this country. He worked effectively and has managed to bring the numbers of COVID down. He has given Kenyans hope and confidence that together this COVID-19 can be eradicated. So it has been a thread that whenever anybody from Mount Kenya region is appointed, 
they are those people who always fight. He found Avia House and Kemsa very corrupt, and he was a whistle blower. We urge people to be patient and wait for the 21 days given by our head of state for the probe, all investigation to be carried out.